Well hello folks, um, Peter here and uh, just bringing you a quick video about our Malvern uh, exhibit here at the RHS Malvern Spring Festival and as you can see we have been awarded a silver gilt medal for our second Malvern exhibits. This is only the second year we've been here and um, yeah we've been really really pleased with the response uh, that we've gained from from customers from from today um, it's been really super uh, to be invited back and uh, here are there's the stand let me stand still for a moment and uh, there you are um, the stand is looking absolutely great we're really really pleased so several pots on here what we've been doing is using using these rather nice pots to show how you can use clematis in containers. Um, we've had a lot of people ask over the years, you know, how do you do it? How do you, how do you plant clematis and grow them successfully in pots? Well, the, the key really is to have a good sized container and use a good compost. So we use a container about 45 centimeters square and a similar depth, uh, minimum really. And that's, um, that's the sort of smallest pot you really want to go for and then use a nice John Innes loam based compost and you'll have great success. So yes, the, the exhibit here just showing how you can use clematis uh, to good effect to make a display in a small space, perhaps on a patio or a, even a balcony. And uh, we've got a, a lot of different varieties here. Um, Josephine down there in the trough, very popular variety, Rebecca, and then Sally at the top with one of the more recent introductions from Raymond Everson. So a lovely selection of plants, all containerized. Here we are, I'm trying to make sure I get the video, um, the names, so that you can see the names of the plants that we're growing here, which was requested by several people. Can you please name the plants in the videos? So I'm trying to make sure I get all the names of the plants in. So um, I'll try my best. This little filigree has been one of our favourite uh, short grain clematis for many years. It's very prolific in a compact plant, which makes it excellent for use in pots. It gives a great quantity of bloom low down, it means that we can use it to great effect, especially on troughs like the one at the back here. Uh, we can use filigree just in the bottom there as well to cover up the uh, gaps and the pots of the other plants behind. So now we'll have a little bit of time now this afternoon as the show is just closed. We'll be spending that going around and tending the pots, tweaking the plants, cutting off any dead heads or bits and pieces that need attention. Amber has been very popular today. It looks a great centerpiece. And as has Nubia, Nubia here in this little pot cascading all over the sides of it. Uh, very pleased with how that came out. It was a bit of a challenge this one, but uh, we, we got there and I'm really pleased with the effect that we got from those plants. So there you are, well I hope that's a nice video for you, as you see um, I try to make sure I get all the plant names in so you can see what they are. And these are all varieties we have currently available online for mail order. And one last thing to tell you is that all the plants on this exhibit were made with plants from our stock area. So all these plants are plants that you could well have ended up putting in your garden if you ordered them on our website. So we went around the stock area picking these plants from our saleable stock to make this display. And here we are, I'll just give you this pot here. This is one of my favourite pots actually. Clematis Yorker, a beautiful Clematis with the Countess of Wessex. They'll make a lovely combination. And the judges were very complimentary of the plant quality and the colour combinations we used, but also the way we displayed them. So we're delighted to get Silver Gilt for our second Malvern Spring Festival exhibit. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed that and we'll be at Chelsea in two weeks time so come back and see us there um, in the next video.
bye for now.